sports. Our Halloween quick hitters will answer how worried you should be about today's issues in sports. Our football experts take it back to the future to make some predictions about shining stars in the league and our MLB experts look at some recent World Series history. Plus, we discuss which houses of people in sports we'd like to teepee. All that and so much more. And it all starts right now. <laughs> Welcome to One on One Sports. I'm Connor Del Pre. And I'm Ben Greenberg. Happy Halloween. Here are your starting five. 107. That is now the number of consecutive seasons without a World Series victory for the Chicago Cubs after they were eliminated by the New York Mets in the NLCS. Adding insult to injury was the fact that the goat from the classic Billy Goat curse that has haunted the Cubs was named Murphy, the same name as Daniel Murphy, who knocked in a home run in every game of the series for the Mets. So Ben, is this curse startling, hair-raising, or spine-chilling? It's spine-chilling to me because it's so real. I mean, th th this is not some sort of contrived curse by the media to try to promote games. It's real. The Chicago Cubs just won their first home series, the, the NLDS, this year, at home for the first time in over 100 years of Wrigley Field. That's crazy to me, and that's spine chilling. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the curse is definitely spine chilling, but I think yeah. the future is bright for these Cubs. I think mm -hmm. guys like Kyle Schwarber, Russell, who weren't even supposed to be up this year, got called up, and, and, and they'll be here for the next five years or so. I think what these young guys just have to do is realize that they can be different than the past, right. and if they can get that through their heads, they have a bright future. They could get a good a pitching rotation if they sign someone else this offseason. I think they should be good to go in the next five years. I agree. Uh, Mets Cubs uh, actually will be a very uh, yes. bright future for both clubs. Exactly. The United States women's soccer team tied Brazil to extend the undefeated streak to 1-0-2 straight games. They've now gone 89-0-13 at home dating back to 2004. Is this startling, hair-raising, or spine-chilling for the rest of the world soccer team? I have never been more proud in my life to say this is <laughs> spine-chilling. I know the World Cup isn't home games all the time, but this doesn't take away the dominance of the U.S. women's soccer team. And they live and breathe replacing retired stars yep. with new young talent. Yep. Ali Wambach, uh, Carly Lloyd, players like that, they're all retiring or not going to be playing as much. Insert Tobin Heath, insert Julie Johnson, insert Morgan Bryan. Yep. The future is bright for I, the U.S. women's I mean, you're, you're right, it's spine chilling, and I'm exactly. excited to say it too. Uh, it's great for women's sports, it's great for American women's sports. Uh, this team plays with a swagger, they're good, they know they're good, and they're exciting to watch. I'm exactly. happy to say it's spine chilling. Absolutely, absolutely. Andrew Luck, king of garbage time? A study from Pro Football Reference recently found that the Colts quarterback has accumulated almost 30% of his touchdowns when his team has been trailing by 17 or more points. Some fans of Luck believe the defense will hold Luck back from reaching his potential, but critics believe his turnovers will always hold Luck back from true greatness. Is this startling, hair-raising, or spine-chilling for the future of Luck's career? Connor, it's none of the above. This is a haunted house made for toddlers. It doesn't scare me at all. What? This, this Andrew Luck is a three-time Pro Bowler in three seasons. He led the league in passing touchdowns last year. He's got the most, he's got the record for most game-winning drives as a rookie with seven. Tell me that's garbage Ben, time. Ben, you can't. Ben, you Ben, won't. Ben. What division does he play in? Does he play in the AFC North? No. Yeah. No, I, I, no. Okay, listen, no, he plays in the listen. AFC South. Okay, fine. It's not a great division. He's still in first place. But, oh, well, he can't beat the – oh, barely. I mean, the Jacksonville Jaguars are almost tied for first place to them. I mean, this is a luck, an Andrew Luck that is 17-17 and 17 versus teams not in the AFC South. He can't beat the good teams. Yeah. And until he gets better and until his organization, his management, decides to draft defensive players, luck won't have to come down by 17 <laughs> points anymore. And I think that's what's causing the turnovers. He's forcing the ball. He's a great player. He's a smart kid, and he's going to be just fine. Yeah. You mark my words about that. <sighs> The Dallas Cowboy three-ring circus was on tour again this weekend, this time against the New York Giants. Injured receiver Dez Bryant and defensive end Greg Hardy had a confrontation on the sideline. Hardy then slapped a clipboard out of a coach's hands during a huddle, and on top of it refused to talk to the media after the game. Is this team's lack of character spine-chilling, uh, startling, or hair-raising? It's hair-raising, absolutely. Yeah. It, it's hair-raising because, and naturally not everyone is so chipper on the sidelines with their starting quarterback and star wide receiver injured, but they find themselves last in a division they should be first in. Yep. And they have the gall to think that 
Jerry Jones is all about Greg Hardy as this leader. Greg Hardy is not a leader. No. He is a guy that, as you said, no. slapped the clipboard out of its special teams coordinator. <laughs> He's coming off a domestic abuse charge. He fought with Des Bryant. The fact that they're calling guys like these leaders means that there is something wrong in that locker room and it needs to be fixed. I agree with you. I think it's also, on top of it, uh, very fitting that they lost to Tom Cl Coughlin's Giants. Tom Coughlin, known as a guy who takes no nonsense exactly. in the locker room. That's exactly what the Cowboys need to face yeah, up to. Yeah, exactly. A potential power shift may be occurring before our eyes in college football. Of the current top 25 teams in the college football top 25, five of them are part of the Southeastern Conference. Yep. And while the SEC is still one of the best conferences in college football, this is one of the lowest amounts of SEC teams in the top 25 in five years. On one side, people think the lack of depth of the conference is a major problem, and others believe it's because the teams are all defeating each other and that reflects on their record. So is this top 25 startling, hair-raising, or spine-chilling for the SEC? I think it is hair-raising. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's not spine-chilling yet, right. but the Southeastern Conference is football, and now all of a sudden they're being challenged by the Big Ten, Pac-12, ACC. Uh, the Big Ten and the ACC, of course, mainly basketball conferences. And dare I even say the American Athletic Conference, which is a few mm. ranked teams, that's very hair-raising for SEC fans. I, I'm not ready to give up on them yet. I, I right. love me some SEC football, so I just think it's starting. The SEC hasn't gotten worse. It's just other teams have gotten better. The SEC Fair. will always get the top recruits because they have a proven track re record of getting players ready for the NFL. And that's right. really what matters when you want big recruits is these, these high school players coming in and saying, where can I succeed in the NFL? And that's still the SEC. I think right. they still have three teams in the top 11. Florida seemed to have gotten over the Tim Tebow shoe. Mm -hmm. But I agree with you that if, if it continues like this, it can be hair-raising for that conference. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hair-raising now and could be spine-chilling in the future exactly. if they don't wash themselves. Exactly. That's all the time we have for the quick hitters, but don't go anywhere because I will be sitting down with our NBA experts to hand out some tricks and some treats.